How you doing guys? Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like a few minutes of your time. I just have a few things that I, I'd like to say. Um, you know, when someone dies, when someone passes away, the, the message is always the same. It's always, life is short. You don't know when your life is going to end. Take advantage of your life. Live life to the fullest. Do everything that you want to do now. Live for the moment. Live for the present. Because you just don't know when life ends. That's what the message always is. You only live once. I have a different message. A totally different message. Now, a few days ago, I um, saw a message. Uh, a heavyweight, Shane Del Rosario, was uh, was dead. And I was going to make a video talking about that. But a few hours later, it was confirmed that he's, he really isn't dead. It was uh, It was a mistake. He was actually on life support and uh, that was good news you know he's doing much better and then on Saturday around like 3 p.m. got a message that Paul Walker died Paul Walker died in a car crash and that got me thinking it really got me thinking and what I was thinking in my head was what exactly is the point of living for now what is the point of living life like you could die tomorrow? Do we just hear that and not have some time to ourselves to just think about that? Because I have a totally different message. And my message is keep yourself safe. Keep yourself alive for as long as possible. Keep yourself alive for people who need you out there. That's my message. There are certain deaths that to me are preventable and unnecessary. And Paul Walker's death was one of them. I've almost died three times. I'm 21 years old and I've almost died three times. The first time that I almost died, I almost drowned. The second time I almost died, I also almost drowned. I still don't know how to swim. I know that's surprising to a bunch of you, but I don't know how to swim. And the third time that I almost died was that opened my eyes. It was a car crash. This happened a few months ago. I was driving my Nissan Altima. I was coming back from work and uh, I was turning into an exit and there was a truck to my left and <laughs> the truck hits me. I hit the rail, the car spins, throws me back into the, into the highway, got hit again by an oncoming vehicle. It was just a bunch of shit. Like, it was messed up. And when the accident was over, I opened up the door, stepped out of the car, looked at my body, looked at my arm, looked at, you know, my chest, my legs, no bruises, no no cuts, no injuries, nothing was hurting. I was fine. And for a second, I just, I just stood there thinking, how? How? When the cop came, he looked at my car and he was like this accident right here this this is stuff right here that, that you walked out of people have died from something much less and I got home and I was just thinking I was dumb I was moving too fast I, I made a lot of messed up decisions that day that could have killed me and then when I die People get sad. They go on my Facebook wall posting, R.I.P. Henry, died, gone too soon, you'll be missed. I don't want all that. That's not what I want. I don't want people crying because I'm dead. I have a girlfriend that I love to death. What is she going to do if I die? I have a mom that I love to death. I have a father that I love to death. I have two sisters that I love to death. What, what am I going to do? Like, what, what are they going to do? If I were to die, I mean, if I die, I'm dead, that's it. I'm not gonna be in pain forever, but what of them? What of the people that I care about? The point of this video is to tell you guys that you don't have to live like today is your last. You have control of your life, don't you? You, you get up when you want to, you walk when you want to, you eat when you want to. You get into a car and you drive when you want to, don't you?
you have control of your life. It's in your hands. It really is. Yeah, things happen. Sometimes accidents just happen. But for the most part, you have your life in your hands. You can prevent yourself from getting sick. You can. You can live a healthier life. You can. When you get into a car and you're driving, remember that that, that beautiful machine that you're controlling, that fast car, could just as easily kill you. Because when you lose control of it, you are so helpless in there. You are so helpless when you lose control of the vehicle. At that moment, your life is no longer in your hands. When you lose control of a car, at that moment, your life is no longer in your hands. It... I'm saying this, guys. Keep yourself safe. Remember that you're mortal. This is flesh. This is fragile flesh. You got a brain in your head. You got a heart in your chest. Every single thing inside of you could stop working like that. You could die anytime. But that doesn't mean you have to live recklessly. That doesn't mean you have to do everything now. You gotta skydive now and you gotta surf now and you gotta you gotta do every single thing right now. That's not what it means. You only live once should mean value your life. That's what it should mean. These people do crazy things because they believe, oh, you only live once, I have to do everything right now. That's not what it means. You only live once means value the one life that you have. Cherish it, love it, love yourself. That's what it's supposed to mean. That's, that's, that's the point of this video. I love you guys, man. And I don't know how many people are going to see this video. Maybe 20, maybe 30 people at most. I don't know. But whoever sees it, I want you to know that when I say keep yourself safe at the end of my videos, I don't just say that because it's fun to say. It's actually how I feel. I want you guys to keep yourself safe. Don't die. Don't die. Especially not at 40, 40 years old. Oh my goodness, man. Paul Walker, Paul Walker. He's got a 15 year old daughter, too. That was a preventable death. That was a, an accident that was preventable. He could have been alive right now. I don't know. Alright, that's all I have to say. Keep yourself safe. Remember, you have people who will miss you. People who will be devastated. Don't break their hearts. Don't.